It's about 6 a.m. Nicole has a new harness. Look at it, it's so cute. Oh, somebody littered. <laughs> Let's pick this up and we'll just pop it in the trash. Hey, we're gonna go this way, little one. Good morning. Nicole is going potty right there. But um, it's our first full day in California. We don't live in LA, by the way. We live in Long Beach, because I really love Long Beach. Um, and Nicole's liking it so far. We're just taking our morning walk down to the marina and yeah, it should be nice. It'll be interesting to see if Nicole likes walking that far, but I live in like downtown area, so it's not too far for her, hopefully. But she seems to be having a lovely time. Her first night was okay. She didn't whine or cry like she was missing home. She just, we were exhausted yesterday. Yesterday was a day, like getting our car delivered. I didn't even pull out my camera because I was just so tired and it's stressful, like not knowing where you are and having to take lift and you know, all of this type of stuff. But I'm happy I'm having a good day and yeah, we're gonna keep on our little walkie. Since our elevator is broken, Nicole's right there. Hi baby. <laughs> um, I'm putting all this stuff into my backpack so I can carry it upstairs and carry little Missy because she acts like she's afraid of the stairs. It's 7 a.m. so it's still pretty gloomy, but this is what my apartment looks like at the current moment. We just have a mattress because nothing gets delivered until next Friday. <laughs> So next Friday we'll have an actual apartment and I'll do a tour and everything. My trampoline and workout stuff will go over there. My vanity is here. There's me. This is what I wore on our walk. I think we did uh, just under three miles. I need to grab some stuff for the bathroom like shower curtains and things like that. I don't know why it's so dark in here. Oh because it's 7 a.m. Like we're the only people <laughs> we're the only people awake in the city right Nicole? You're the only person awake because you have to go potty. Yeah, she's gonna be asleep in no time But since she moved with me in order to get her adjusted I've just been taking her everywhere with me. So I just put her in her little airline Look at this silly girl silly girl silly girl What are you doing silly girl? <laughs> oh my gosh, so in order to get her acclimated, I've just been taking her everywhere with me. I've left her like twice, but only like to go down to the car and back so she knows that I'm coming back, make it like a really quick thing. But other than that, I've just been putting her, she's so crazy, in her little carrier and taking her. But I'm gonna get, what is that? Hmm. Dressed and we have to head off. I think we're going to TJ Maxx first, then we're going to Pier 1, then to the Dollar Tree just to get like trash bags and stuff that I don't want to spend a lot of money on. <laughs> I feel like I'm getting a nice tan already. <laughs> I can't wait until I have furniture. I'm just sitting on my mattress on the floor because my furniture can't be delivered for like a week. So I'm bumming it. It is what it is. <laughs> so obviously I'm a little nervous about moving across the country without family nearby and things. Well, I do have a cousin that lives here. I'm gonna have lunch with him very soon. And I have some old family friends and I have YouTube friends and I have a support system, but it's different. So I was reading my devotional, as I do, and um, my voice is raspy. <laughs> Um, it just made me feel better as it always does. So I thought I would read it to you guys today. It says Let my love stream through you washing away your fear and distrust a trusting response includes me in your thoughts as you consider Strategies to deal with the situation. My continual presence is a promise guaranteeing that you will never have to face anything alone My children teeth on the trust that I am always with them yet they stumble around in stupor, unaware of my loving presence all around them. That grieves me. When you walk through a day in trusting dependence on me, my aching heart is soothed. Gently bring your attention back to me, whichever, um, I mean, whenever it wanders away, I look for persistence rather than perfection in your walk with me. And that made me feel better. So now I'm going to TJ Maxx.
obviously. Um, TJ Maxx, then Whole Foods, then the Dollar Tree. I am going to Whole Foods because my lovely friend Stacy bought me a gift card right before I left, so I'm gonna go get some food. And I have like no pots. I have one cast iron skillet, <laughs> so hopefully I can find some pots and stuff soon too, um, because I do have to do some recipe videos. Obviously, that's what I do on YouTube, so I have to get all my kitchen things back together. I'm gonna take off this workout stuff. Um, maybe not, I think I'm just gonna wear this. We're just gonna wear this. just goes in her bag when we go bye bye and she's fine going in there here get out are you gonna get out okay oh you're gonna go on my seat wonderful and she has a little blankie that she lays on because she likes to sleep while we drive and I got this amazing looking vegan sushi at Whole Foods 365 get your own side Thank you. You want some water? Do you have to go pee pee and do you need water? No? So, I know this is not the best sound, but I need to give Nicole air. This is how I give her water on the go. Um, I just pour it into this little cap and then she knows it's time for her to drink. Waters. Oh, you got it on your binky? Are you going to get it up? Oh wow, you're such a good girl. Here, you want some more waters? Mmm, yummy. Hello, so I just got back from Whole Foods 365. It's a little bit echoey in here because it's empty. So <laughs> I got this amazing fucking sushi. It's called a firecracker roll. Look at that. And I haven't eaten all day, so I'm going to eat this while I'm doing a grocery haul. The lighting in here seems a little bit weird, so I need to play around with my camera settings, but we'll get it right, guys, eventually. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. So yesterday, I forgot to eat. It was like 7 o'clock before I started eating. And you know what I ate? Tofurkey slices. <laughs> that was all I ate all day, tofurkey slices. So I woke up this morning super hungry. Mmm. So. I got two things of green leaf lettuce. I got some bananas. What else? I got some nori sheets. I love seaweed. I got three limes. <laughs> What's that face? That's the thumbnail. <laughs> um, I got some Light Life Smart Dogs because I just like to eat these with ketchup and mustard sometimes. On a day when you forget to eat and you're like, oh, what do I do? Okay, just a couple of Smart Dogs. I want one more of these really good. I don't know what time it is. 3.30. First thing I ate. Ketchup and mustard. Guys, I have to restart my condiment collection. <laughs> you know how many condiments a vegan has? So many. <laughs> I got some of this soy bay, um, and I got the one with the lower sodium. Um, they have the regular one, but I went ahead and got this one this time. I got some salt. Some tahini, some canola oil. I got two things of Kite Hill yogurt. I got, these were on sale for like $4. So I got the plain unsweetened and then I got the vanilla. The vanilla is my favorite but it has kind of a lot of sugar so I like to mix half and half for my yogurt like bowls in the morning. Ooh, I forgot I got these. Peaches, four amazing peaches, a cucumber, um 
some quinoa pasta. This bag will not cooperate. Quinoa pasta. Um, one more bite of these. This is really good. It kind of tastes like it has fruit on it. I don't know what kind of sauce this is. Mmm. Jalapeno. Two zucchini. And four avocados. So that's my first. Hi, honey. Hi. <laughs> Nicole's here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. She doesn't want to come here. <laughs> she just wants to see where I am and then she's going to go back to sleep. So we went to Whole Foods together because. I'm overprotective and I keep taking her everywhere because I'm just nervous to leave her by herself. I don't want her to be scared or confused because we just moved, but it really is pooping her out. She's like so exhausted. Anytime we get back to the apartment, she just goes straight to sleep. Huh? Hi, little miss. Hi, little miss. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to put these groceries away and then I'll show you guys what I got from Target. I'm sure you might want to see that. There's mango in here. Also, I can't find where the trash goes in my new building. So I need to like ask one of my neighbors, hey, where do we put our trash? Because my landlord did not explain it to me at all. Uh huh. Sorry, you guys just caught me during lunch. I was hoping this background would look a little brighter. Cause it's like all white cabinets. But it looks yellow. And I'm right in front of a window. Hi baby. So, I'm gonna have to play with my camera settings and see what the heck's going on. Mmm. This sauce is good. Also, um, I've been posting to IGTV. <laughs> it's falling apart. I have to just like shove it. She's over here because she sees me eating. Last night she ate a lot of tofurkey slices. Did you know the Whole Foods bags are made of Ooh, oh, no wonder they call that firecracker. That sauce is hot. Um, they're made out of 100% recycled water bottles. Pretty awesome. Are you begging, Nicole Taylor? <laughs> Are you begging? She's begging. Wow. Smacking Eden, calm down. <laughs> so hungry, I haven't eaten today. Yum. That was amazing. I mean, I'm still not sure how I feel about mango and sushi. I feel like I've had mango and sushi somewhere else too. And I wasn't sure about it then. I like my sushi like savory. There we go. I got the white balance adjusted. So we're in business. So I got this blue shower curtain, which I'll show you guys later once I get the bath mat and everything to match. Um, so I picked up, oh, <laughs> some knives. These are blue too, not to match my bathroom, obviously, because the kitchen's nowhere close to the bathroom. But I did get a blue waste basket for the bathroom. Because you know, your girl blows her nose a lot. Then I got a couple of plates from Target. I got this plate. And then I got a bowl that matches it. Just until I decide exactly what I want as far so my mattress is standing up like that because I'm sure someone will ask because I need to Swiffer in here because Nicole 
guts and dirty in here and she has a lot of hair so i need to like swift her up and then put it back down hopefully my bed frame will be here in the next couple of days because sleeping on a mattress on the floor is fine but i would like a bed frame also and everything else will be here friday so i'm thinking by the next vlog um what i ate in a day there still won't be furniture but i'm hoping by the next vlog it'll be me and the task rabbit putting together my desk and my couches and um having a full furnished apartment which will be amazing <laughs> i got this cute measuring cup it's pyrex look at this little um heart and it was on sale for two dollars i guess just the heart thing was not cool anymore so i got that for the kitchen I got a couple of forks and knives as well because I have not, it's so weird starting from scratch and like not knowing exactly what you want so I don't want to rush into buying a bunch of stuff just because I need stuff. I'm trying to take my time and find stuff that I love um, but then you also need necessities so I'm just trying to buy like one or two things here or there which I'll have to buy more because Kayla's coming next month and then in August the boys coming and then in September or I'm not sure yeah September Stacy's coming and then Sarah's coming at some point this summer too or I mean this fall so it's really exciting a lot of my friends are gonna be here and I'm really happy about that so these are on clearance as well um, they're salad servers and they look like this I think they're very very pretty and then I got a new toothbrush because my bamboo one I forgot it in Texas a loofah this is dish soap I like the method and then I also just got a method body wash um, this one is in the Smell Sweet Water. And then I picked up and then a coconut milk cream to foam face wash. Removes makeup, cleanses, and de-stresses skin. Coconut and vanilla bubbles. All skin types, especially stressed. <laughs> this is from Pacifica. Looks like that. So, I also picked up a thing of the Cora tampons because I can't find sponges here. And then I got some, where's my other bag? Oh, I got a couple of pots, which I put in my backpack to bring up here. I just got a little tea towel pot with a lid because I use these types of pots a lot. And then I also picked up just um, a little quart pan. This is a three quart pan. So I got those two. And what else? I heard something rumbling around in here. Oh, it's because I brought my one of my e-mugs upstairs. And that's all I got besides a Swiffer. Oh, and then I got um, some hangers because I need to hang up my clothes. So two things of hangers, but I don't have a place to like put my bikinis and underwear and all of that stuff. So I need to buy like a small dresser or something for that. But yeah, that's pretty much everything that I picked up. Nicole's toys got shipped. So as you can see, there's lots of Nicole toys behind me. Um, Nicole's sleeping over here on a pillow with a blanket on top of it. We dropped off our clothes to get washed today um, because this building does have washer and dryer, but I don't know where they are. And I also don't know where the trash is. And I swear no one else lives here because I barely ever see my neighbors. <laughs> so I don't know who to ask. Um, maybe I'll ask the property manager people if they know where it is. I don't know. <laughs> so I just dropped it off to get cleaned um, and then I'll pick it up tomorrow at some point in like all of my travel clothes and stuff like that. Honestly, after just moving, laundry's the last thing that I want to do. So I'm not going to do it. <laughs> And yeah, I parallel parked today. I don't know if I said that already for the first time in my life and I didn't fail at it. My driver's test, I failed at it. Which in Colorado, you don't have to parallel, parallel park. Not in Colorado Springs, at least for your driver's test. But when I went to Texas, they had just changed the law that if you're renewing your license from like the long way to the sideways, um, if you were between 18 and 25, then you had to retest, like you had to retake the written test and you had to retake the driving test because the most accidents were people 18 to 25 and obviously since it expires within like two or three years i guess your first license um, mine expired when i was 21 so obviously 
um, I had to retest and they made me parallel park and I did not pass at all. But luckily I did good on the rest of the driving test so it all worked out. Anyways, this is probably very boring to you um, because Nicole's falling asleep so if she's falling asleep, you guys are probably falling asleep too. Right, Nicole? <laughs> Are you, is, it, is your mommy boring? You don't think I'm entertaining? No? You think I'm very boring? Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Um, but yeah, that's all that I have for right now. I'll probably come back after I hang up all of my clothes or something and say hello. Hey guys, I forgot to close out the vlog yesterday. I was just really tired. So Nicole and I went to sleep. I'm getting ready to take her outside right now, but I wanted to just come and say bye. And until next time. Hey guys, this is Rachel. Thank you for watching Eden's video. I just want to remind you guys to keep an open mind, keep an open heart, practice unconditional compassion, and but do not take shit from anyone. I love you endlessly and I hope you love yourself even more. Bye.